my dear friends welcome back to csr at home today we can study about herbicide resistant plants the herbicides generally affect the process that are unique to plants for example the herbicide can affect photosynthesis or amino acid biosynthesis hence the developing herbicides that are selective only for weeds is very difficult why because these weeds and crops both share common process so how we can create herbicide resistant plant there are three approaches the first one is make target molecule insensitive for herbicide for the action of herbicide there is a there will be a target molecule where maybe in photosynthesis pathway or in any amino acid biosynthesis pathway so we can make the target molecule insensitive that is the first approach then the another approach is we can overproduce the target molecule okay or we can introduce a pathway that degrade or detoxify the herbicide which is introduced into the plant there are three pathways one is target molecule make the target molecule insensitive okay then or overproduce the target molecule or introduce a pathway for detoxifying the herbicide now we can study about glyphosate glyphosate is a herbicide this one is a safe cheap and environmentally friendly why this is easily degraded into no toxic compounds that's why glyphosate is the commonly used herbicide its trade name is roundup glyphosate is otherwise known as roundup glyphosate inhibit 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase the name is too lengthy we can short form there is a short form that is epsps epsps that is 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase this is the key enzyme in biosynthesis of aromatic amino acids in plants in plants and bacteria okay this is the key enzyme in the biosynthesis of aromatic amino acids which one ep sps in which pathway shikimate pathway this enzyme is involved in shikimate pathway so this herbicide glyphosate inhibit 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase then how we can develop the herbicide resistance plants first one is over expression of epsps the other is mutant variety for example it was found out that the mutant of salmonella typhi medium and e coli show tolerance to this herbicide which is that glyphosate why these strains show tolerance to glyphosate because these strains contains a mutant variety of epsps enzyme so we can isolate that gene from the bacteria and introduce it into the plant under the control of light regulator promoter from small subunit of enzyme which enzyme ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase okay we can isolate the bacteria and express in the plant here promoter is from light regulator promoter is from small subunit of which enzyme ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase glyphosate can be degraded by glyphosate oxidase reductase gene so this glyphosate oxidoreductase which break down glyphosate into glyoxylate and amino methyl phosphonic acid in the other strategy we can isolate this gene it is known as gox glyphosate oxidoreductase gene we can isolate from acromobacter species strain and expressed in transgenic plant so there is three strategies one is over expression of epsps the other one mutant variety okay mutant variety of this gene and transfer into the plant 
The other strategy, there is one more enzyme that is glyphosate oxidoreductase gene that can inactivate the glyphosate. We can isolate this particular gene that is glyphosate oxidoreductase gene from acromobacter species and expressed in transgenic plant. This is about glyphosate. Next we can study phosphenothresin. Phosphenothresin. The other name is glufosinate. Okay, glufosinate. And this phosphenothresin inhibit glutamine biosynthesis. Okay, phosphenothresin inhibit glutamine biosynthesis. This is an irreversible inhibitor of glutamine synthase in plant and bacteria. This herbicide that is phosphenothresin is an irreversible inhibitor of glutamine synthase in plants and bacteria. Then how we can develop this herbicide resistant plant varieties that is phosphenothresin resistant plant varieties. One is overexpression of that gene. Which gene? Which gene? Yeah, glutamine synthase. And the other is we can incorporate another enzyme which degrade the phosphenothresin. Phosphenothresin acetate transferase. We can isolate this PAG gene and BAR gene. Both produce a special type of enzyme that is known as phosphenothresin acetate transferase. And phosphenothresin acetate transferase inactivate phosphenothresin by acetylation. So this BAR gene is obtained from Streptomyces hygroscopicus and PAD gene is from Streptomyces viridochromogens. Okay, that is about phosphenothresin. Then we can study about bromocyanin. Bromocyanin, okay, bromocyanin. This inhibit photosystem 2. Bromocyanin inhibit photosystem 2. That means it inhibits photosynthesis. How we can develop transgenic plant that is resistant to bromocyanin? There is a special gene that is known as nitrilase gene. Okay, nitrilase gene. Nitrilase gene is obtained from Klebsiella oseniae. Oseniae. Okay, nitrilase gene from Klebsiella oseniae. We can take this, isolate this nitrilase gene and transform with tobacco and cotton plants. Transgenic. We can make transgenic plant with the help of this nitrilase gene. Okay, which encode an enzyme. Nitrilase gene produce an enzyme which inactivate bromocyanin. Next we can study atrazin. This is an another herbicide. And this atrazin also inhibit pigment system too. That means atrazin inhibit photosynthesis. That means it is specific for QB protein. It inhibit QB protein. So we can introduce a mutant gene for QB protein or we can introduce gene for glutathione S transferase. Next is sulfonyl urea. Sulfonyl urea. Okay. This sulfonyl urea inhibit biosynthesis of branch chain amino acid and the mode of development of herbicide resistance is by introduction of resistant gene which is the resistant gene acetolactase synthase. It is otherwise known as ALS. Okay, ALS gene, acetolactase synthase. Then phenoxycarboxylic acid that is 2,4-D and 2,4-5-D. Okay, here we can incorporate dioxygenase dioxygenase gene that can degrade phenoxycarboxylic acid and gene is T TFDA gene which gene produce dioxygenase TFDA gene that is obtained from alkali genes okay alkali genes which produce dioxygenase and dioxygenase degrade the herbicide which herbicide Phenoxycarboxylic acid. Then cyanamide. Here we can introduce a gene cyanide hydratase gene. Cyanide hydratase gene. This gene converts cyanamide to urea. Okay, it converts the herbicide into urea. Next we can study dalapon. Here we can introduce dehalogenase gene 
dehalogenase gene from which bacteria pseudomonas putida which can detoxify this herbicide then imidazolinones here we can introduce mutant version of acetolactate synthase again okay, mutant version of acetolactate synthase this is very important topic that is glyphosate phosphonothrin bromocyanin sulfonyl urea atracin thianamide dalapon imidazolinols etc okay thank you